Hello friends, let us now learn about the type 2 glycogen storage disease which is called as Pompe's disease. So if you see some important points about Pompe's disease, this is an autosomal recessive disease. This occurs due to the deficiency of acid maltase or due to the deficiency of alpha 1,4 glucosidase deficiency results in this Pompe's disease. Here there is this Pompe's disease occurs due to the mutation in gene on chromosome 17q which is coding this acid maltase and because of the deficiency of acid maltase there is accumulation of lysosomal glycogen in multiple tissues especially it gets accumulated in the cardiac tissues, skeletal muscles and also smooth muscles respectively sorry most commonly so if you see the clinical features these babies present with first few months of life because they the glycogen gets accumulated and there is no glucose formation in these gluconeogenesis in these patients okay the glycogen gets accumulated so as a result the baby presents with hypotonia and generalized muscle weakness and the baby is a floppy infant syndrome this looks like a floppy infant okay then there will be feeding difficulties in the baby is seen and you will also see presence of macroglossia is seen in these babies in these babies you see presence of big tongue or macroglossia and also an examination of abdomen you will see hepatomegaly and you will see hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy is seen in these patients. So as a result, these patients die due to this cardiomyopathy and also respiratory complications. Usually by one year of age, they die. So there is one uh, variant of Pompe's disease which is actually a less severe variant of Pompe's disease which includes which is called as juvenile or adult form or adult onset or late onset of Pompe's disease. Here there are no severe cardiac manifestations and there is less severe short term prognosis is seen in these patients. So if you see the lab diagnosis if you do the serum creatinine kinase levels are elevated you can see elevation of lactate dehydrogenase and aspartate transaminase is also elevated even acid phosphatase is also elevated in these patients you can do you can find hypertrophic obstructive cardiomegaly that is you see maximum cardio cardiomegaly is seen with the help of chest x-rays and because of this cardiomegaly if you do ECG you will see high voltage QRS complexes are seen in the ECG and you will also see shortened PR interval is seen in the ECG due to this hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy and here because the first symptom is in the muscles so you should do uh, muscle biopsy if you do a muscle biopsy you will see the accumulation of glycogen in the muscles okay even you can see it under the electron microscope even here you will see accumulation of glycogen in the membranous sacs of cytoplasm because it, the problem is in muscle you can also do electromyography this electromyography will show the features of irritability of muscle fibers and pseudomyotonic changes or discharges can be seen but the definitive diagnosis is by enzyme assay of this acid maltase okay then how are we going to treat it the treatment of this condition is mainly by giving specific enzyme replacement therapy that is we have recombinant human acid alpha glucosidase is available for these patients so this is about pompey's disease thank you guys for watching my lecture thank you